Experts are calling it the largest internet hack in history. They're very, very good at hiding their tracks and, and persisting within the network. Welcome to WatchMojo News, the weekly series from WatchMojo.com, where we break down news stories that should be on your radar. We're almost accepting that this is inevitable, and it's not. In this installment, we're counting down five crucial facts you should know about the Yahoo Accounts hack. And this is the largest number of records stolen in any breach in the history of, well, the internet. Number five, what was the extent of the hack? On September 22, 2016, the American technology giant Yahoo revealed that it had been subject to a massive security breach in late 2014. As part of the hack, the details from a reported 500 million user accounts are said to have been stolen in what Yahoo claims is a state-sponsored attack, and in what analysts believe could be the largest internet data breach in history. Details including account holder names, email addresses, phone numbers, hash passwords, and security questions and answers are believed to be among the hacker's haul. However, Yahoo has said that it does not believe unprotected passwords or bank and credit card information has been jeopardized. The revelations come weeks after Yahoo opened an investigation into claims that details from at least 200 million user accounts were being sold on the dark web earlier in the summer. The problem has since been proven worse than first thought, and the story breaks just two months after Yahoo's $4.8 billion sale to Verizon, which claims that it learned of the hack just hours before mainstream media reports emerged. Number 4. How Big Is Yahoo Incorporated? Founded by Jerry Yang and David Philo in 1994, Yahoo was one of the first big internet brands. It operates as a search engine, news, media, and social media service, and is one of the most popular email providers on the planet. Between 500 and 700 million users reportedly utilize Yahoo services every month in more than 30 languages. When news of the data breach emerged, it was the fifth most visited website in the world. Despite all the stellar statistics, however, Yahoo has been in relative decline since the turn of the century, with Verizon's $4.8 billion potential purchase showing a hugely reduced price, considering the company was once valued at more than $100 billion. Forbes labeled the sale as, quote, the saddest $5 billion deal in tech history. The eighth and seemingly final CEO of Yahoo, Marissa Meyer, has a net worth of around $430 million, and Meyer had stood to receive a severance package worth close to $50 million. However, in light of September 2016's data breach, it remains to be seen whether the Yahoo Verizon deal will close. Number 3. Who is responsible for the hack? There is still a degree of confusion concerning who hacked Yahoo and why. It is believed that Yahoo's initial investigation was triggered after a well-known hacker, going by the name of Peace, claimed responsibility for a data dump of about 200 million account details on the dark web marketplace, reportedly selling them for around $2,000. Some reports say that the first investigation drew no evidence but did lead to discovery of another, separate hack. Yahoo has said that they believe this breach to have been conducted by a government-backed hacker, though they are yet to name the nation believed to be responsible. Users are calling Yahoo to accept its own share of blame, however, and the company is even being sued for gross negligence in some countries. A major lawsuit was filed in California on Friday, September 23, 2016, one day after news of the hack emerged. New York resident Ronald Schwartz filed on behalf of all American Yahoo users, arguing that the company had failed to deliver on previous promises to take user privacy seriously and that it should be punished for taking almost two years to uncover and reveal the hack. Number two. What is being done to fix the problem? In the aftermath of the data breach, Yahoo has urged all of its users to change their passwords immediately, to change or delete security questions, and to consider changing details for any other online accounts with a similar password. Going forward, Yahoo users, and internet users in general, have been reminded of the importance of changing passwords regularly, keeping them unpredictable and individual from one account to another. The company has also asked its users to be alert to any suspicious activity and to check through their account, especially in the Sent Items folder. Finally, users are recommended to turn on two-factor authentication, which adds a second line of defense to any account. Yahoo has said that it will work to contact users believed to have been directly affected to advise them to their best plan of action. The company is also working alongside the FBI to investigate how the breach occurred and who exactly was behind it. Yahoo has so far declined to comment on Schwartz's reported lawsuit or on mounting questions as to why it has taken so long for the 2014 hack to come to light. Number 1. What does this mean for Yahoo's future? Yahoo was a company under pressure before the data hack. Though still considered an industry giant, it has long been usurped at the internet's topmost table by the likes of Google and Facebook. Now, confidence in Yahoo is expected to fall to an all-time low, and analysts have predicted a series of financial blows to follow its way. 
Ron Swatch's legal action could prove the first of many challenges for the company, and Verizon could yet seek to renegotiate the sale of Yahoo's internet business. It remains to be seen whether Yahoo or the FBI can identify who is responsible for the hack, whether they really did receive state support, and from which government they received it. Yahoo's overall reputation appears irreparably damaged regardless. As subject to one of the largest and widest reaching internet data breaches ever seen, there doesn't seem to be an easy solution to the company's problems. Did these facts get you thinking? You don't have to think that everything that you put online is available to be stolen. To vote for which news story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top fives published every week. You have such immense service area that even Yahoo itself is not necessarily aware of every single server or every single application that, that they support.